Hello and welcome back again, and today I'm bringing you my new piece of, my newest piece of tech, which is, I've got an old freezer here, and, uh, I wanted to turn it into a refrigerator, so what I did is, inside this little black box, is we've got power, well, if you can see it right here, the light sucks, so we got power in, goes into this black box, this black box then has power out, and then that plugs into the freezer. And then we've got our sensor wire here that just made out of Ethernet cable and that goes down into the freezer. And what basically happens here, let's pull the thermometer out. So we see we're running in the refrigeration temperature there, that's good. So basically what happens is is that every 15 minutes, according to the program I have set up, this guy will turn on, reach the temperature that I have set inside the code and then turn off. Well, pretty much that simple. I'm going to cut the internals and show you what's inside this guy. Alright, we're back in the workshop and I've taken the liberty of removing the top here. Pulled out my couple screws I had and what we have here is a Radio Shack uh, project box and how everything works. Look at all that mess of wire stuffed in there. Alright, so uh, let's, uh, let's get into it. Uh, okay, to make things a little bit easier, I've went ahead and um, just taking everything out of the box. Okay, so first thing, I went ahead and I'm actually disconnected my, uh, my sensor here. For me, my sensor, uh, data is green, my power is orange, and my ground is blue. And then just runs on the 3 volt off the, uh, the Arduino. And I've got a relay here that's actually gonna switch my, uh, 110 here in the States. Look closely here. I've taken this appliance cord and cut it and uh, went ahead and tim the edges so it's easier to put into those damn screw terminals. I've got that hooked up there and uh, on this one my signal wire is red and then my ground is a, a white wire and uh, my positive is a white wire. So, <laughs> actually figure that one out. So over here... I've got basically the, the brains of it, the circuits of it. So, if you see there, focus, damn it. Come on. There we go. Now you can see that little potentiometer. That potentiometer actually controls the voltage out and uses a 5 volt circuit to compare. Um, versus its baseline. So basically, what this is going on there is a voltage divider to control the temperature. So every, it's a 5K pot. So every 1K is equal to a degree increment. Right now, I have it set at 33.89, somewhere in there, uh, degrees uh, Fahrenheit. And that's what I wanted to have it set at. And there is my in, there is the, the uh, potentiometer, and there is my out. Over here, We've got a transistor that's responsible for controlling the relay module. On the inside wiring, uh, just using a, an appliance wire. Picked it up at uh, a local hardware store for a couple bucks. And I've got that tied into here, and I've just used wire nuts to combine it. Now, I don't see if you see it too well, but back in there is my power supply to run the Arduino. And all it is is a USB adapter that I've uh, soldered and tied it into, you know, tied into leads that then go into these wire nuts so that just pulls power like it needs to passively. So, I mean, that's really all there is to it. There isn't much as far as hardware is concerned. I'll get more into it in code. Okay, we're over here on the code, and I've already got the Adreno Studio opened up, and what we're going to be looking at is a code that makes this thing work, makes it tick. First thing I needed to do, because I'm using the Dallas uh, 18B20 uh, one-wire temperature uh, sensor, is that I'm using their library, so that makes things a little bit easier. So a lot of this is already set up ahead of time. Uh, I went ahead and created the wait variable, the have run variable, and the setup variable. I'm going to initialize them and set them to zero when we start up. Here's my serial out. I'm going to jump down here as I said before, all of this library stuff. Uh, you're going to see that once you download the library. 
I'm going to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit because uh, I live in the good old U.S. of A., so that's what I use. So, this is custom code to read our little potentiometer. This may not be necessary for you if you decide... If you decided to do this yourself and not want to use it, I wanted a physical adjustment, so that's what I did. So we're going to create a net called sensor value, and we're going to re and we're going to read our analog value starting at analog A0. If you look at your Arduino, you'll find pin zero on the analog side, and that is where my sensor is hooked up. Alright, we're going to convert the analog reading, which goes from 0 to 1023, to a voltage, which just goes 0 to 5. So we're going to take our sensor value, whatever we read, and we're going to take it 5 over 1023, and that's going to equal our voltage. So our voltage, because we only want to have a range of 5, so our baseline is 33, I only want it to go up to 38. So what we're doing is we're making the adjustment there with that math. So we take our voltage over 1, which isn't going to change it, and it's going to equal it to our variable degree target. And we're going to increment our setup variable. So we get down into this stuff, and this is what I recommend changing. This is the changing zone. So we're going to create a variable called target temp. We're going to equal it to 33 plus our degree target, which, again, it comes from our analog reading. This may not be necessary for you. In fact, for control and testing, you see I have a float target temp set to 70. So that way I can test it with a fan before I was looking my freezer up to it. So the next part is actually pretty important, and that's our cooldown time. Now, cooldown time is in, is in terms of seconds, and this is extremely important because it allows our compressor to take a break. So after it runs and reaches our cooldown temp, our, cool, our, our target temp, we need to make sure that we give the freezer a break. So on my case, I'm setting it at 15 minutes. You can set it at 10. I would not set it any lower than 10 myself, and that's the reason I have it set for 15. Then we're going to print the current temperature. We're going to print it in terms of Fahrenheit. We're going to print the target temp. And we're going to print a variable, a target temp. So, now we get to a setup. So, during we have a one minute window to adjust the temperature, yet again, because we're reading in analog. And it gave myself 60 seconds. So, giving myself 60 seconds gives me a full minute to adjust that temperature if I need to. If not, that's okay. So, I was running into a problem. Um, in the code that if I didn't set my variable to 61 to something that had a finite end it would go and go and go and go and go and would crash so in this case I just set once we pass 60 go to 61 because the next time we come back through we're going to increment and we're going to go to 62 and then I'm going to increment it back to or I'm going to reset it to 61 so this keeps that variable in check that keeps it under control so now we get, we're, we're going to skip past this if, you know, setup var. We're going to see where that bracket goes down here. All right, that goes to the end. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to check to see if have run equals zero. Well, when we set it up, it does equal zero. So we're immediately going to start after we do the setup variable. So we're going to check to see where that guy ends. So else, so if our have run is equal to one, we're going to add a, add one to wait. We're going to do a digital write to pin 3. We're going to set it to low. Pin 3 is our relay. That, that is our relay trigger. So we're going to make sure that's set to low. We don't want the freezer to run. Then we're going to print the reset counter. And then we're going to print a wait with it. So we know what our wait is. So then we're going to move on and see if our wait is greater than, in this case, cooldown time. And cooldown time was set up here as 900. So if our weight reaches greater than 900, we're going to reset the weight to zero. We're going to reset our have run to zero. And we're going to start the whole process over again. So if have run is equal to zero, we're going to do this thing. And while our Fahrenheit is greater than our target temp, so what our current temp is greater than our target temp, we are going to write to digital three. We're going to set the pin to high. And we're going to set our very, very, my very, sorry about that. We're going to set our variable have run equal to 1. We're going to keep setting it to 1 just to make sure that we have consistency. Then we get into the whole bit of reading uh, that, that temperature sensor to make sure it's working. I mean, that we get the data that we need of the current temperature. And we're going to convert, yet again, our raw data to Celsius or Celsius to Fahrenheit. We're going to print out cooling. We're going to print out the target temp. We're going to print out what it is. 
in Fahrenheit, and we're going to our, our, our current temperature in Fahrenheit. And at this point in the stage, our target temperature is locked. So you cannot adjust the target temperature once it has entered this set. Well, you can, it just isn't going to change it. So let's take a look at our serial monitor. Go ahead and reset it. So let's jump over to our serial monitor and see what we get. Uh, let's clear that out. And we are, we're during our setup phase, so we're going current temperature, 72.16 degrees, and our target temperature is set at 33.9. Now, I do want to show you that if I mess with my potentiometer here, I can change the temperature, clear up to 38 degrees, and the low end at 33 degrees. So if I want it at 34 degrees, make a slow adjustment here, 33, 36. Oh, 34.04, 30.10, 30 30.93. This is the only problem with an analog one. Um, so, uh, come on, come on. Uh, 33.06, 33.98, 33.08. You know what? 33, 34.04, eh, close enough. That's what I'm going to keep it at. So, now what will happen is if we listen closely, we should see here the click of uh, our relay kicking on. And there it is. Now we get the temperature this is cooling. It says our target temp and uh, our current temp. Our current temp is 72.27 degrees. And our target temp is 34.04, so that's what we're aiming for. That's good. So, that's it. That's pretty much all it is for coding. So, once this reaches its target temp, it'll reset, and it'll go through the process again. And if I do say so myself, I didn't do too bad for my first Arduino project, all things considered. Now, if you watch my channel, you would see that I tend to stick more in the realm of the Raspberry Pi. I do love it, but in this case... Cost was a big deal. With the Raspberry Pi being almost $30 and a cheap, you know, Chinese Arduino only costing a couple bucks, it was, the choice was clear. I don't need internet connectivity and I really didn't need anything else. This code was more than enough to, to, to uh, accomplish what I set out to do. Now we get to see this guy in action. So. You see, I'm plugged in there, running through my black box, plugged in there, if we open up the freezer. We're up to around 50, because I just plugged this in after the demonstration, so we'll come back in a few and see what the temperature is. Okay, so this is this running, so... I went ahead and actually hooked it up to my laptop here in the basement. Lighting isn't the best, but what do you expect? So as you see, it is locked and cooling. You're at 37.96, 37.85, so it is, it is cooling. So let's go over here and see right there's my cable that runs inside the box. I'm gonna open up the freezer here. There's the relay, or the sensor, going down in there. And there's that. So... She is a cooling mess of wires. Okay, so the freezer has just kicked off. And you can see the reset counter going. That will count to 900. Now let's check over here. And we see the freezer is off. Grab our internal temperature gauge, and we are right about where we should be. So that, I have to say that that is a success. All right, so it looks like from opening the freezer, we did lose a little bit of juice, and that's fine. So, again, thank you for watching, and 
if you like uh, like this video, make sure to like it. Uh, leave a comment. I really do enjoy the feedback. And subscribe if you're ever so inclined. Thanks. Have a great day.